Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zoli. And today, I'm going to talk about the non-roster invitees to camp for the Chicago White Sox. So, uh, there's going to be some familiar names on the list, and then there's going to be some maybe you've either never heard of, or if you have heard of them, it's only because you live in the area where they played in the minor leagues. So, um, I'll go over the list. I'll go over what they've done most recently. And then you can make your own decisions. I mean, I don't know how much of a chance really any of these guys has of making the White Sox, except for uh, definitely one of them will. Probably. But outside of that, I don't know. So you got Luis Gonzalez, center fielder, who at Birmingham last year hit 247 with nine home runs. You got Cody Hauer, Hauer, Hewer, Hewer maybe, uh, right-handed pitcher. Uh, last year he was six and four with a 239 earned run average in the minors. Tyrone Guerrero, right-handed pitcher, who last year for the Miami Marlins was uh, one and two with a six. 26 earned run average. Uh, Tyler Johnson, right-handed pitcher, who last year was 2-1 with a 259 earned run average in 31 and a third innings pitched. Then you got Jacob Lindgren, left-handed pitcher. Last year in the minor leagues, he was 2-2 two two with a 283 earned run average and a 129 whip. And then Nick Madrigal, who uh, last year in the minors, between I think it was three teams that he was on last year in the minor leagues, hit 311. He, his slash line was 311, 377, 414, which is why you can see why they're planning on him making the roster. Uh, again, as I've explained in recent videos that I've had up, which you could go back and check out, by the way, um, he will probably, assuming he does well in, in camp, he will probably be sent down to the minors for some uh, conditioning, you know, and also to make sure that his uh, free agency clock doesn't start running in 2020. And then, assuming that he does well in the minors for a short amount of time, could be April, May, June, they'll bring him up. And uh, until then, Mendick will probably hold down second base or possibly Lurie Garcia. Who knows? So uh, then you got Adibol El El Alberto Mejia, left-handed pitcher. Uh, last year, he was 0-2 with a 661 earned run average for the White Sox. Uh, Daniel Polka, that's a familiar name, but He's probably not going to make the roster. I don't know how he would. But he uh, last last year, in the very short stint that he had on the White Sox, which was 84 at-bats, he hit 107. So, you know. I mean, I love the guy, but I just don't see him cracking that outfield now, and not especially since we went out and got Mazzara. So, you know. Uh, then you got Carlos Perez, catcher. Uh, in A ball last year, he hit 263. Not sure how high the White Sox are on him, but he's not going to make the roster. Then you've got free agent signing Andrew Romine, who's been around the block a little bit. And the last time that he played was 2018, and he hit 210. And uh, the thing about him, though, is that he is a, uh, he's like a super utility type guy. He can play a lot of infield positions and maybe even dabble a little bit in the outfield. So he's versatile, which will help his cause, but I still don't see him making the White Sox. Then you got Gavin Sheets, first baseman. Last year at Birmingham, he hit 267. He had a, he had a slash line of 267, 345, 414. Not too bad. But then again, we have a first baseman, and we have a DH. So, I don't know. 
Then you got Jonathan Stiver, right-handed pitcher. He was 10 and 10 with a 3.48 earned run average last year uh, in the minors and a 118 whip. So it's nice to know we've got some other uh, good pitching options, or at least what looks like good pitching options down there. Then you got Matt Tomshaw, left-handed pitcher. This dude is a grandfather by minor league standards. He's been around since 2011. Uh, last year, he was 9-7 and seven with a 290 earned run average and a 107 whip at Birmingham and Charlotte combined. Then you got Andrew Vaughn, the Andrew Vaughn, who probably won't be ready yet, but he's coming to camp. He was invited to camp, you know, unless he does uh, like an Albert Pujols. But then if he pulls an Albert Pujols, who's he going to replace? Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. So anyway, he hit 278 with six homers and 205 at bats last year in the White Sox minor league system. And uh, he's probably, my guess is he's at least going to spend 2020 in the minors. And then you've got uh, Brian Mitchell, right-handed pitcher, and he is also a minor league grandfather. He's been around since 2010. And he uh, was last year was 0 and 3 with an 868 earned run average. So, yeah, him and Tom Shaw, I don't know. You couldn't like find a good government job or something. I don't know. But anyway, those are the minor league invitees that the White Sox plan uh, to have in camp. And. Um, like I said, probably the only one on that entire list that I just went over who's got a chance of being on the White Sox in 2020 is Nick Madrigal. Outside of that, probably not. Especially since the White Sox had their great offseason that they had. Now, if this was the White Sox of two years ago, maybe two or three of these guys make the list. You know, make the make the uh, the White Sox, but probably not this coming year. So uh, anyway, what do you guys think? Is there anybody on there? Any dark horses on there that you think might make it? Do you think uh, Vaughn can pull a uh, a Pujols? Because remember, Pujols, the year he made the Cardinals as a rookie, the Cardinals had no intention, absolutely none. Of bringing him up they were not going to bring him up he was a minor league invitee and um they just wanted to get a look at him let him you know mingle with the big guys and whatever get some experience but it was just so good that la Russa said there's no way that we're not bringing this guy to st louis with us so do you think vaughn can do that or uh not so um see the pro the problem there is that even if he did pull a pool holes, then you've got a team. I know we got 26 guys this year instead of 25, but then you got a team that's got Encarnacion, Abreu, and Vaughn, which are basically three immobile third or first basemen. So, you know, I don't know. Can you really afford to keep that? And then. If you do, what are you going to do with those three? Because, like, only two of them can play at any time. So, yeah, I don't know. So I think that the, the deck is just stacked so that Vaughn is going to be in the minors in 2020, in my opinion. But what do you guys think? So anyway, I want to hear what everyone thinks about uh, those guys. Any, you know, like I said, any dark horses? Anyone you think uh, uh, might make it? Anybody you've heard of? Um, I mean, you know except for maybe we've all heard of probably Andrew, Andrew Romine and uh, Polka, but, you know, some of those other lesser names. So anyway, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, but for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.